Hi, folks. <laughs> I'm Zelda Biker. Don't worry about that. We were just talking with my brother about how he likes to play Donkey Kong in the bathroom, if you know what I mean. Anyways, um, we're going to go through some extra content here. And as you can see, we're at the bottom of... Um, this is just a little hidden side thingy you can do if you so choose to. Not so much going to do um, the item or treasure or the quest or the stuff in here. Here's the map. I think. Nope, never mind. This is the, this is the un, unhinged version of the... <laughs> not unhinged, but um, uncompleted version. Here's some of the new enemies. <laughs> oh, don't these guys look friendly. Okay, so nice and simple. Um, they're dark type monsters, and they're undead. Um, here's a little schematic if you want to click on one of them. There you go. Resistance is there. That's it. Ah, my fault. Here we go. Undead. Very key. Very key. Anywho, they're also very susceptible to Spirit Blade, as I'm about to show you. Oh come on. Okay, Dugan can normally one shot them like that. But if you just do a normal attack. Yep, pretty much. Nice and easy fight. Same thing for Marduk. Oh, yes, there you go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, oh, jeez. Emola, where you get rocked? Fly him with over, Emola. There you go. Alright. So, <clears throat> this is a little extra hidden side quest thing to do. Um, a, something you can do down here is that you can grab a Trilobite key. Which is um, something that you need to grab for the completion of um, the Trilobite Caves, which we will also be covering eventually. Not exactly this quick, not exactly this video here. Oh, Phantoms. Phantoms are spellcaster type esque monsters. And they hurt a lot if you don't kill them. But Emila will cast Flamethrower, and that'll be that. So, Phantoms, dangerous if you let them live. But if you have Emila, you know, I, I, actually, no, I take that back. They're not dangerous at all. Just the Emelak has flamethrower, and that'll be that. More of the map, this treasure. Um, this trilobite key, there's some money to be found and something else. I'm not really entirely sure. But what we're really here for... Okay. More random battles. Okay, there's some other ones. Zombie... Oh, sorry, abominations. Abominations are, again, just an undead, undead thing. But what they do drop that's better than most items is a, f um, is a sword that they're carrying. It's the uh, Shadow Sword, which is a Shadow Dark type element sword for Marduk or Burn, and it it has a high critical rate ratio and degeneration. There you go. It has degeneration, which does a ten percent chance of on hit causing um, causing uh, the debuff of it takes away regeneration. That's what's important. No more regeneration for them. But yeah. Um, most importantly, though, I forgot to mention that um, I went back, I got the Trilobite keys from... This is a, I guess this can be a spoiler-esque type video. Uh, there's a Trilobite key back in the inn of... Um, actually, hold on, yeah. Before, <laughs> I guess I should give you a spoiler type warning if you don't want to... Um, if you don't want to get spoiled about anything. Now's your chance to stop turning away the video. Uh, I probably should have said that sooner. I probably may make, make, I don't know. If you're watching this, you're gonna get spoiled anyways. Zombie dragon. I probably should have prepared myself for this fight more so. But we're gonna just walk right into this blindly. And we're gonna start by just flaming. Hopefully I can get my poison off. Maybe not. Not so lucky this time. You, on the other hand, will be just spirit blading. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to hit that. I hit the, I hit the microphone. Here are his resistance, HP, MP, so on and so forth. Nice and nice and not complicated. But Disrupt Dead, Smite Evil, I, I see that Smite Evil tends to do more damage than Disrupt Dead, but we'll find out on camera just how much it can do. And as for you, you just do Reckless Dash. You do a lot of damage, Marduk. And Water Burst, very rather annoying spell. Not the worst thing that could happen to you, though. Just keep to you on the beat down. Oh my gosh, I missed my timing. That was lame. Anywho, um, your key the key ability in this fight is very doing um, smite evil or or um, disrupt undead. Oh, 
just how I'm dead does 200 better. Interesting. And then just keep Marduk on healing, because that's all he's good for. Paladin. Yep, nice and... Okay, so what he can do is that he probably will be eventually doing his... Actually, yeah, we'll get to it. We'll see, we'll, see, we'll, see, we'll see what happens if we get around to it. So far, it's actually going rather smoothly. I'm surprised that, you know, this guy says a lot, a lot of people give, this guy gives a lot of people trouble. I know we don't have too much trouble with this guy. Then again, I have a bunch of skills maxed out, and I'm level 14 or 13. I don't know what's average for this game, I really don't. Is he gonna do it? Yep, annoying gas attack. Mm -hmm. Okay, annoying gas attack causes random status afflictions on your entire party. So what you really want to do is just have a lot of people equip on status resistant type things. So hopefully it'll hit. And I am done with this boss already. I'm yeah, I'm 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 already done. Disrupt on dead. And Marnik gets the finishing blow like a pro. Like always. Yeah, and it was a critical. Alright. First of the Dragon Boss. This is an achievement on Congregate. Whoops, I forgot to show you the treasure you get. You get a burial sword. Da! Burial sword. Great sword. Yep, very fun. Social Fox? No way. Yep, Light Elemental, Straight Plus 2, Spirit Strike Type Sword. It's a great sword. So, it's obviously for Yugen, which raises the defense attack to 32 rating. Not bad, right? Anyway, that's the end of this video. Uh, I'm just gonna warp out. And, uh, I guess something I forgot to mention is that if you talk to the priest, you grab the uh, yellow Torian amulet. It's green lightning. This is a rather interesting spell. It just causes stun random to, uh, random, at a random chance. Um, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. I will see you guys next time when we tackle up the Trilobite Caves.